Hey guys, it's Tess, and it's Jukebox Selects number two, and you know what that means. I'm gonna tell you what I'm listening to, what I think you should listen to, and what we should dance to. So this weekend, I went to my girl. Woo! More boobs. I did not get these beads like the fun way. I, they're on the ground. <laughs> I picked them up. I mean, honestly, this one lights up. Like, actually, actually, can we get the lights off in here? Maybe we can find out how it looks. I'm really, really listening to some jazzy type of like New Orleans, baby, music. So I've been really into that. Uh, I went to Bourbon Street and I actually saw no boobs and I saw a bunch of beads and a bunch of trees with beads in them and a bunch of people that were stumbling over themselves. This old man that had like a Bloody Mary and a billion beads and he did not remember how to walk. It was like he was suffering from a mental injury. I'm serious. Okay guys, so let's get right into it. What I want to talk about today is I'm going to give you a couple singles to listen to and then a couple albums I really think you should invest in. So the first thing I want to start off with is Roca Code. And I hope I'm saying this correct because, I mean, that's the way it's written, so I'm hoping it's pronounced Roca Code. Roco Code. Yeah. Well, actually, in this band uh, currently is Sean Huberts from Tegan and Sarah and Johnny Five. And there's also former member from Knowing the Well, and this is a very, okay, do you guys know that um, scene in the Neutron movie where there's that bar scene and there's that guy that could totally play David Bowie if they did like a biography of David Bowie on it, and he has that clear staff? This is the kind of music I think that would be played in that futuristic bar. It's like piano bar meets screamo, but in a good way. A lot of rock and roll, and like, it has some really impacting lyrics that like, you you wouldn't expect from like the jazzy parts they have and stuff. And I would go into track by track, but I just think you should really invest in it. And it actually had two of their songs featured on the new series, Being Human. And um, those two songs, like now that I know they've been on Being Human, I feel like they should be made for Being Human. It's like really kind of like uh, movie tracks. Like you could put it under something and have a storyline and you could just have them playing, but you could have something else going on at the same time, if that made sense. But Roca Code. Okay, and this one needs like a giant introduction, but I don't, I can't hire like bagpipe people or anything like that. But yesterday, Some Nights by Fun came out, and you guys, if you follow me on Facebook, if you follow me on Tumblr, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I'm like obsessed with this album. Like, I cannot describe to you, well, I did describe to you, there will be a link below to my review. <laughs> Fun's new album features 11 tracks. One of them is a bonus track and it has their like hit single We Are Young on it. It's number three on the Billboard charts currently, but that updates on Thursdays. So when this is up, it'll be updated by 12 p.m. So below in the down bar, I will place if it is any higher or lower on the charts. Um, my favorite song of this album, oh gosh, why did I put myself in this situation? I really, really, since I've been listening to all of it, the whole cohesive thing I love. Like I, I, I just love it. Like if you didn't have to marry people and you could marry inanimate objects, I would marry the CD. Maybe the record. You know, just switch it up. I, I wouldn't marry an MP3, that seems weird. So they have like a Some Nights intro, which is like an intro like you would hear um, in a musical or if an uh, album had like an intro and outro and it's just like a song that's not complete or it just like revs you up for the album. And uh, I can't get over the fact that Nate's voice, the lead singer, can like hit amazing notes and he's like... I know that City and Color has an amazing voice, but I think Nate is in a different category because he reminds me so much of Freddie Mercury. And I wouldn't want to like compare him too much to Freddie Mercury because then people are like, no one is comparable to Queen. But I really think that his voice is in that category with like Adam Lambert, where you can like freaking awe and crowd with your voice and you're just like drool. Just like drool it. Whatever note you hit, I want to create that. I really like the lyrics in the songs and um, 
this song is really about going forward with your life and not lingering and like some nights are gonna be horrible but you gotta keep going and this album represents everything about that and I love it. I hope it wins an award or something like that because it so deserves it so much but this is Some Nights by Fun. Now I probably touched base on this before but Lelia Broussard and Gabe Dixon I saw them like a month or so ago and I have been listening to this uh, Waiting in the Nines which is like a special edition from Lelia Broussard but I really am into Gabe Dixon and if you like Michael Buble or anyone that has a really cool like piano pop feel like Billy Joel anything like that anything that Nordstrom would hire somebody to play this is Gabe Dixon he's really good and his lyrics are the kind of lyrics you find in country that have a lot of story to them but you can still like relate and like it doesn't have to necessarily have like a verse chorus verse bridge this could be a movie and it's only three minutes long but he's really good and Lelia Broussard has a phenomenal voice live like now that I've heard her live I'm like this CD sucks because it doesn't showcase what she is capable of I also would like you guys to check out Operating by Lady Danville. It's a three track um, EP and they're going to be releasing a full length album but I just have to talk about this poster. I got this poster um, for the EP so I could get it. It came out on Valentine's Day but their van that they actually bought for touring, its name was Brenda, at least I think it was Brenda or Bertha. If I'm wrong, I think it's Brenda. But they actually flipped it because of the snow and their tires were bad. And this is the real picture of what happened when they flipped their car. And they used it for their next EP. And it goes so well with the uh, single from the EP, which is Operating. Because it talks about like, I was only operating. So kind of like, this is broken. And they're kind of like fixing it. And, it. and if you would like to see the video where they actually flipped the car. They're not actually flipping the car and filming. But right after it happens, Matt, the drummer take some footage and you'll see this exact shot right here that they used for their EP. Like, I don't know what animal this is. I don't learn any do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do be from this. One of his ears is bigger than the other and his mouth is made out of... <gasps> you could make like a mini choir if you had all of these and line them up and you're like... I'm going to list off a couple of songs that you guys should check out and I'm going to put them right next to me right here and you can click on them and it'll take you to the YouTube video whether it's the audio or the actual video of the song but below I'm going to have a 8 track playlist which is a website that offers you to be able to make playlists and you can go and listen to all the songs in order or mix them up and I'm also going to try to figure out how to do an iTunes playlist so if you want to purchase the songs you can go look up Tess's playlist or whatever we'll call it and that'll be linked below too. I'm going to rapid fire them to you guys, so if you want to click them, they're going to be up here for five seconds, so if you need to go back in the video, I would do so. Gautier, Somebody I Used to Know, Old School Love by Megan and Liz, which are YouTube artists. Skrillex, Breaking a Sweat, The Wombats, Jump into the Fog, Little Talks of Monsters and Men, and believe me, you need to check out this song. Settle Down by Kimbra, Panic of the Disco and Fun, Come On. Body Work by Tegan and Sarah and Morgan Page. And I just want to touch base a little bit. This isn't like recommending too much of like a certain song or an album. But uh, Bonnie Vare, he won uh, Best New Artist and Best Alternative Album at the Grammys. And a lot of people don't trust the Grammys anymore because they think it's so hip hop uh, and so like pop that it's like injected with fakeness. Which is true because like the Academy votes on it, which is the industry. And you would want to hear from the people. But like... I enjoy the performances and what the Grabbies have to offer. It's still surrounded by music and good music is out there that's popular. Why would it be popular if it wasn't good? I mean, yeah, <laughs> there's a couple songs that are not good that I would be like, wow, my children will never hear these, but it's, it's like a representation of what we still uphold, which is music, because it's been here since the beginning of time. I mean, cavemen probably were knocking around rocks before they made the will. Bonnie Vare won Best New Artist and I got the Under the Radar cover because they had three different covers, one with M83 on it. And I really, right now, love his cover of Bonnie Raitt. And I think that's how you say her last name, Bonnie Raitt. Um, and he actually, I'm going to link it below, and he sings it on piano and it's like, oh, I can't make you love me. I love you though. I just do. Yeah, like it's ain't so good. His music is so chill and so mellow. Like no, I would not go to the gym and be like, let's listen to some body rare. It's gonna make me want to pump some iron. No, that's not true. He's way too mellow to be pumping any type of iron, unless you're actually ironing clothes and you're like being really slow and you need some like chill music. But Bonnie Bear, just check them out. Like in general. 
that's all for Jukebox Selects. I hope you guys enjoy it. All the links are below because there's a million of them. And I hope you have a great day, a great night, and a great life. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!